we're talking about making our marks in life. And my next guest, actress and songwriter Nicole Leckie, got her break as a teen writing for a spinoff series for the British soap hit EastEnders. Well, now Nicole is starring in Mood. It's a TV musical drama coming to our screens this week. So the series follows a young singer who dreams of making her mark in the music world, but finds herself seduced into the dark side of social media. The Telegraph calls the series a clever cultural commentary with a killer soundtrack. Here's a sneak peek. What's happening, boys? How does that girl got all this money? How does any pretty girl make money? I'm just trying to get myself out there more. If you're clever enough, anyone can get big online. I'll teach you if you like. He's got to play the game. You're going to be famous. Look at how many views. We're the ones in charge, do you know what I mean? I am just trying to live my truth. Woo! Please welcome to the Tam Fam, Nicole Leckie! I mean, you took your one-woman stage show, hit BBC series, now you're in America, yeah. and everybody is talking about you. How does it feel? <laughs> um, a little bit surreal. A little to bit be surreal. Yeah. That's an interesting answer because you know your character Sasha. She said, "I'm just trying to live my truth." So much of this is about what's true and what's not. All of our heads are spinning in social media. You don't know what's real. Mm -hmm. People get seduced into things every single day and find yeah. that. It's not what it seems. It's, I told someone the other day, it feels like life has become an optical illusion because mm -hmm. of social media. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, I totally agree. Like, I did so much research for the show, and it kind of came from me, like, looking at social media and being on the Explore page and stuff and just feeling like everybody was searching for something, trying to be a similar thing as well at the same time, you know? And so, Sasha, your character, who wants to be a music star, and by the way, you wrote a lot of the music that she, yeah. all of the music that yeah, she performs in it, you know, and she finds herself entangled into this world of online uh, human trafficking, mm -hmm. um, online um, sex trade. I, I was thinking about, I was looking, just the other day there was a TikTok video from someone who's on a, another page and talking, I make $10,000 a night, you yeah. know, with these adult videos. And she's like in her room. Mm -hmm. at home and like 20 years old. How is that not something that can pull people in? I'm in my room, I put on a camera. It's not something I'd tell my mom, but I've got money in my cash app. Yeah. You know, and that's what's pulling these kids in. Yeah, I mean, I met so many women that kind of fell into it and I felt like there was a real, a kind of trope on television yeah. of like sex workers who were either, you know, super educated and and kind of just like, I love sex and that's why I want to be a sex worker. Or, you know, these very sort of like prostitutes mm -hmm. who are, you know, like drug addled. And my experience of meeting these women wasn't that. It was like very normal young women who were kind of lured into it in various different ways. Yeah. And I was like, who are those young women? Who are the women now with this boom on social media, especially during lockdown? Yeah. And those were the tales I really wanted to tell. Mood. How do you describe the mood? Because I, I mean, I, my, the, when I was watching, my <laughs> mood was heart racing, but also exhilarating. Because as you said, you take us into this world that so often is a trope or a stereotype, and you mm. do it in this authentic way. Well, I guess it's just the the more people I spoke to about it, I felt like I wanted this character to go on this journey, yeah. and a lot of what kept coming coming to me sort of in the way of, of speaking to people was just how you never knew from day to day like what was going to happen and how from one moment to the next you could just slide into a different experience and each of the episodes like Sasha from one episode to the next has a different feel it has a different mood yeah. to it because you know one minute she's in England and by like episode five she's in a whole other country. I have to tell you, know. it is brilliant. The only other thing I'm envious of is I say Sasha, you say Sasha. <laughs> <laughs> the accent makes everything sound more <laughs> amazing. Well, congratulations on this. I mean, you are shaking up television here in the States. What's been um, the most surprising thing from audience reaction from um, across the pond to here? Mm, that is a really interesting, I guess it's like, 
the response here is just you don't get to see this side of England. Yeah. Like you don't see these characters like from up north. You know, there can be a perception like in. Well, England, everybody is from the Crown. We're all to posh. Some we're all posh. We're all posh. <laughs> and all... we're not. I am from East London. I am not posh. So this gets <laughs> so... into the gritty real world, the neighborhoods yeah. and the community. Yeah. And as opposed to everybody being from the 17th century or whatever. Basically, <laughs> it's not, It's not. you know, um, one of those kind of period dramas. Yeah. And I think it shows you how much of, like, how multicultural, like, yeah. London is particularly and how you can kind of segue through these different worlds. So well, I you're think... You're part of an incredible generation of creatives that have come out and ex mm -hmm. ed educated American TV watchers mm -hmm. to the other real side that we don't get to see so often in programming. So congratulations. I'm here for it. I have to tell you, I'm going to be watching for all the awards. Watch this. Thank you so much, Nicole. Congratulations. And Nicole's show, Mood, makes its U.S. premiere on BBC America and AMC Plus this Sunday, November 6th, 10 p.m. Eastern.